Donald Trump today spoke at the joint Republican retreat in Philadelphia, telling a crowd of fans that bailing out of TPP is a good idea, that we need to battle Islamic terrorism, and that the nation needs a new energy policy. He also doubled down on his reasons for signing an executive order to build that wall. Most illegal immigration is coming from our southern border. I've said many times that the American people will not pay for the wall. And I've made that clear to the government of Mexico. Oh, mercy. Mexico says there is no way on earth they're going to pay for it. And today, Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto canceled his meeting with President Trump next week at the White House. Joining me now is Glenn Hall, U.S. News Editor at the Wall Street Journal. Uh, Glenn, welcome back. Thank you. So the president talked about canceling this meeting, and it, it sounded like uh, it was a mutual decision to cancel it. What do you think about that? Well, that's how he wanted to position it. Um, and in a way, I guess you could say it was, because he said, if you're not ready to talk about paying for the wall, don't bother showing up. And so uh, Mexican President Peña Nieto said, I'm not coming. Yeah, so he's not coming, and he's also getting a lot of political pressure in Mexico. Tell me a little bit about that. What is going on south of the border with the Mexican government, and what are some of the leftists saying there? Yeah, so there's a strange alignment right now in sort of outrage about what President Trump has been saying. And, you know, there's a sense that on the one hand, yeah, you have your sovereign right to build this wall, but why is it Mexico's problem to pay for it? Mm -hmm. And so they're really not liking the bullying that they feel that they're getting and uh, the lack of respect that they're getting on their side of the wall, uh, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess my question for the United States, if I were Mexico, is would you build it anyways, even if we didn't pay for it? And if the United States said, well, yeah, then I'd say, well, then pay for it. Well, Donald Trump has an answer for that today at the yeah. GOP retreat. He was saying, okay, I'm working on an alternative tax plan to work out the issues of border uh, goods and transfer of services. And if necessary, that's how we'll pay for the wall. That's how we'll make Mexico pay for the wall. Is that another way of saying wall. tariff? I think it is another way of saying tariff, and it's another way of sort of forcing Mexico to come to the table to talk. And Donald Trump has said all along that he wants to renegotiate NAFTA, he prefers a bilateral treatment, and he was saying today, you know, bringing sort of his rules of engagement in business to rules of engagement in politics, he yeah. was saying, if we've got a bilateral agreement, I can give them a 30-day termination notice, and then they're going to come talk to me. Yeah. He's gambling that Mexico has more to lose if they don't have a good relationship trade-wise with America. I mean, it, it seems to be the case though, and I know the Mexican government for a long time has been encouraging some of its less fortunate citizens to go north and, and seek aid in the United States, because they know then they don't have to take care of people and put them on welfare in their country, and then billions of dollars in remittances uh, go back south of the border. So, you know, Mexico, I, we, we both certainly benefit from a mutually beneficial uh, trade arrangement and, you know, being economically healthy neighbors. And the president addressed that. He said, you know, Mexico has to be a strong nation. How is the United States expected to help strengthen Mexico? You know, it's an interesting uh, dichotomy of issues, right? On the one hand, there's border security and trying to prevent the flow through from Central America, the cartels, the gangs, and things that may be crossing at that yeah. border into America and causing security risks uh, for America. Legalized drugs. So right. there's no longer a market for <laughs> Mexican pot and heroin and everything else. Now, one New York state lawmaker has proposed uh, harming companies and, and, you know, economically punishing those who help build the wall. Is that where we're going to see uh, the next round of this fight? You know, there's very interesting posturing. We're also seeing in American companies, a lot of their earnings calls are going on right now, and they're all talking at some point about uh, the concern that they see about what's happening on the border here and how this is going to play out. Yeah. Some say we can react, that's fine. Others say, well, this causes some risk that we're going to have to deal with. But on both sides of, of, the, of the border, there is some concern because there is so much entanglement between uh, the relationships of companies on both sides yeah. and, and the passage of goods and services that it's hard to unwind. You know, this deal went into effect in 1994. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of time that these relationships have been built up. Yeah. And, you know, we're talking about in both directions between 200 and almost $300 billion worth of goods and services traveling. Yeah, uh, someone put it almost as high as, as $600 billion per site. Glenn Hall, thank you so much. Always great to see you.